holding the game up so we get a chance to substitute as well. What was happening is is one guy was coming off the field appropriately and he saw something and he stopped. So that gives us 12 men on the field. It was things like that that was transpiring, which I, we can't even wrap our head around it because we practice this stuff repeatedly. Again, along the same line, some of the, the substitution things, the penalties, you've defended Coach Kelly at every turn. Yeah. This is one where now people are going to start pointing fingers and you said, you know. Well, if you're going to point the fingers, point it at me because if I'm allowing it, it, it should be on me, not him. Point it on me. Uh, we go over this stuff. We go over this stuff. And <laughs> there are times where you know what group is in, you know what group you're on, but you, you, you have a, a lapse of, of understanding in those crucial moments. Uh, right now, we're not built for the moment. We're not built for the moment. Um, some of our players aren't built for the moment where they have to make a play or they have to keep contained or they have to make a block or they have to get a, uh, another yard. We're not built for the moment right now. Hey, Coach Tyler King with the Denver Gazette. Yes, sir. Um, you guys had 17 penalties tonight. That, mm. I mean, that was something that was a positive for you guys early in the season was wow. a lack of penalties. Um, I didn't know it was that many. What has led to the, the, the amount of penalties you guys have been accumulating over the last um, couple weeks? Not being smart. Not being disciplined. Not understanding the moment. That's, that's what that is. Yeah, that's what that is. Hi, Coach Adam Mr. Tiger, 24-7 Sports. We saw Trevor Woods play a little closer to the line of scrimmage at yeah. linebacker tonight. Yeah. Is that a matchup with Stanford, or do you like him in that role? Going no, on? I love him in that role. I, I really do. Um, we have some good safeties that, that, that we have, and Trevor is that kind of team guy that's going to do whatever he needs to do to help his team. And that's something that he's uh, – I'll do that. And, and I think he played well. I haven't watched the film yet, but thank God that uh, he's willing to sacrifice what he's accustomed to doing to help us improve ourselves. Hey, Coach, Jake Schwann is DMVR. How just curious doing? about Travis, just his conditioning. What do you feel like that his was – His condition is great. <coughs> it was just some plays he made, some plays he didn't. Just so happens the plays that he didn't make at the end are magnified. But the plays he made and kept us in the game. Hi, Coach. How you doing? Uh, Nikki Edwards, Hughes Sports Report. I remember you said before that Shador puts on his cape and saves these games for right. you. What kind of happened in overtime where maybe there was miscommunication on that play when it turned into an interception? Yeah, first of all, that? you should have never thrown the ball. You should have never thrown the ball. Um, I don't know if they played it on a replay to show what happened with the receivers on that play. Did they show it? Right. Yeah, what happened? Because I want to see it because I know what happened. I want to see what they showed. Yeah, I think something else something else transpired on that play that, that, that shouldn't happen. So he shouldn't have never thrown the ball, though. Just give us another down, let's kick field goal. Stay in it. Hey, Coach. Yes, Tony sir. Tony Casolo, uh, Buffalo's Wire. Um, kickoffs have been an issue for your team this year. I think it's a handful of times you've kicked it out of bounds, especially I think it's twice after a uh, personal foul penalty. Yeah. Can you say what the issue is or what the – I don't think we had that problem today. There? I mean, the, the, the kickoff that we did have that went out of bounds, it was going to be marked at the 20 regardless. So it was a moot point. Other than that, I think the, uh, Jace did a great job on kickoff today. kickoffs today. We improved in that area today. Hey, Coach. Pat Rooney, Boulder Daily Camp. Yeah. When you had overtime against Colorado State, you took the ball first when the offense had a lot of momentum. Yeah. Uh, why the decision tonight to, to get the offense out there? Um, we, we have a really good quarterback, and I trust him. That, that's why. And we went right down to score. Coach, you mentioned the, the complacency with this team. You guys now have two weeks before you play again. Right. Is this a good time for a bye week to you know try to fix some? No, it's not a good time for a bye week. It's just, it's, I mean, if you're having problems where you're injured and you have a, quite a few injuries, it's a good time for a bye week. But when you're playing like you're playing, you don't want a bye week. You want to you want to work it out. You want to make it happen. Um, I, I wish we could play again next week. I really do. We talked about the complacency of the defense. And complacency of everybody. 
Yeah, yeah, I wanted to talk about the offense a little bit. I mean, giving up that amount of points in the second half is obviously unacceptable. Yes, but yes. the offense obviously also has to contribute in some way. Yeah, true. Can you talk about that a little bit? Yes, you're right. I don't need to talk about it. You said it. Coach, just one a personnel thing. Mm -hmm. uh, Juwan Mitchell, we didn't. I didn't see him out there at all. Yeah. Is he with this team still? Yeah. Is he mm -hmm. injured? Ask him what 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 happened. Next guy. Just simply put, I mean, how does this team go forward after a, after a defeat? You like have this? no choice but to go forward. That's life. This ain't the only thing that's going on in life. I mean, all you guys are dealing with something. You're still moving. You're still progressing. You're still going forward. We got to do the same darn thing. We didn't expect that. There's a lot of things that goes on in life that's unexpected, and this is one of them. We got to knuckle up and let's go. We can't sit down and have no pity party. Y'all don't feel bad for us. Some of y'all are ecstatic about what transpired today, and I know that. But that's cool. We're going to take this one on the chin because we deserve it. Um, 29, I, I, I've never been in one of these types. I, I don't remember, a, I, for, from youth on, I don't remember being up 29 nothing and losing a football game. I really don't. This is, this is a little tough for me. And I'm trying my best. And I thank you all for your patience. And I thank you for your, your heart because this is really tough for me. But you can see. When I'm amping up and I kind of see this stuff coming, you can see why I go at it like I go at it because I could feel my team. I could feel what's about to transpire, and here we go. I mean, how do you guys – how important are the next maybe 24 – Every game 40, is important. The 20, next 24 to 48 hours in terms of flushing this and moving past it. Well, you got to make – they got to – they, they got to – what I just said in the locker room to the team is they got to make up in their mind, are they in love with this game or are they in like with it? Because when you love something, you give to it unconditionally. You give everything you got to it, but when you like it, that's just the button you push. And it lights up in a like. That's what they do on social media. So we got to figure out, do they love it or do they like it? And it's hard for me because I, I, I love this. I, I, I love it. I, I'm, without a shadow of a doubt, I am truly 100% in love with this thing. And I just want people to match me, just match my passion, match my, match my heart, match my love, match my consistency, just match my mannerisms, just match every darn thing I give to this game. I love this. I, sadly, I love it so much, but the game don't even occupy the ability to love you back. That's a strange love, isn't it? Coach, you spoke uh, Patrick Dawson's Cobuff Sports. Uh, you spoke about struggles in the secondary. What are some things that you and the coaching staff are going to look at throughout the bye week? For well, you you can always look at personnel, but it is what it is. It is what it is. So it was hard to look at. You defensive backs either play to make a play or play to the to, to stop a play from being made. I like the guys who play to make a play. I really do. We got to get to that point. Thank you. God bless.